Hello, welcome back to Mornings with Monalee. I am Monalee. So today's video uh, got me inspired. Oh, first my drink of choice, right? Oh, went to the store. Jerry Pepsi's here now. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God, it's so good. It's so good. Uh, was inspired by a couple things. One, again, cruising Pinterest and seeing things come up. Tattoos, that's what we're talking about. Um, and uh, that movie, what was it? Is it Meet the Millers or Horrible Bob? No, Meet the Millers maybe? When he's like, you know, I have no regrets about a tattoo and he's like, really, not even one letter? So this is my five rules for getting your first tattoo. Really, I guess it would be for getting any tattoo, but I feel like once you've gotten tattoos and you, you are a tattoo connoisseur, then um, you kind of know these things. But So this might be five tips for getting your first tattoo or any tattoo. And I feel like I am um, qualified to make this video. If you haven't noticed in other videos, I am, um, I'm pretty tatted. Um, this one, it's kind of hard to see because I'm wearing a sweatshirt. It's pretty cold here today. I uh, got a half sleeve on that one. Full sleeve. I have my side. Um, some on my back. Some on my like front hips. So yeah, I have some that I regret. I wish someone would have um, really drilled these five rules in me whenever I was getting my, my tattoo. So here we go. Rule number one. Make it meaningful, okay? Don't just get some tattoo don't get you know what was popular when i was younger was like the chinese symbol for strength or something like that like if you're not chinese if if no one in your family's chinese if you're not a full asianophile i guess is that what if that is what you would call it don't just get a butterfly on your ankle because butterflies are cute and don't get a tribe tribal around your arm because yeah badass man like no think of something in your life that is super meaningful to you. Um, the ocean for me, you know, I, I say I grew up, I moved around a lot, but from the time I was like 13 on, I lived in Savannah, it's close to the ocean. The ocean means so much to me. Um, so that's why I got the ocean over here. And then my flowers, it's not just floral, like all of them have meaning. I have a big um, hibiscus type flower because my grandpa loved those flowers, they represent, all kinds of things. Then I have honeysuckles hanging down because at my grandma's house in the backyard, she had um, honeysuckles along the fence. And I remember being little and going out and picking them and eating the honey out of them. So that means a lot to me. Plus, you know, ocean. I have like um, beachy type flowers on there, tropical type things I love. Um, I have a bee, like I need to get that leaf filled in soon, but I have a bee like flying with the flowers because um, Charlotte, my oldest daughter, when she was little, the first word she ever like laughed at, like cracked up was bumblebee so I got that for her um, I plan on getting something for Audrey over here we'll see she's only four months old like what she starts to you know love and what means something um, to me about her so make them meaningful I have a uh, ankle band which I've actually tried to get removed but that's so painful and expensive that I'm just holding off until technology is better but it's an ankle band that's like half tribal half music notes which music does mean a lot to me but i got that you know on a whim because um i was a cheerleader in college and some of the other girls had that around and the older girls i thought it was super cool to get an ankle band so let's see if i can show you eh. see that crappy tattoo yeah so as soon as i can get that removed i will um i also have uh okay well that we'll get to the next rule and that'll kind of play into these okay don't pick from a book. Actually, don't even go to a tattoo shop that has books that you walk in and it's like those big, huge panels and you turn them and it's just tattoo after tattoo, just generic, clip art, tattoo after tattoo. Don't. Uh, see that wonderful shit stain of a tattoo? That is a heart. Um, if you look at it, it could either be a, a clown looking heart it's just horribly done or it could be like I heart Batman I guess I picked it out of a book don't do that um, 
I also picked out, uh, you probably can't see this one. Okay, here we go. Oh, kind of. Okay, so it's a cross, a Celtic cross, um, and it has my brother's initials above and below in Old English. <sighs> I got it when I was 19. Here is why that is crap. Okay, one, um, I tried to make it meaningful. I'm not religious at all. Uh, definitely not Irish, which is the Celtic thing. I'm Persian. I uh, my brother's initials in Old English above and below the cross, for one, they're still alive. So <laughs> for two, Old English, I, I, don't, I, was I don't know if I was trying to be like gangsta, you know, like Old English. Uh, also, I picked the cross from a book. So there's, I broke both of those rules, right? One and two, picking stuff out of the book and making it meaningful. Horrible tattoo. Third rule, be patient. And what I mean by this is, I was very impulsive, as are most 18, 19, 20, whatever year olds. They decide they want a tattoo, they run to the tattoo shop and get it. If you go to a tattoo shop that immediately is like, yeah, come on and get a tattoo, run, okay? Go to a tattoo shop. First of all, look online. Find a tattoo artist that you like their style. For instance, my ocean arm, I really wanted um, it to be a mixture of um, realistic, and cartoon like I didn't want it super realistic but I didn't want it all cartoon excuse the goosebumps it's pretty cold in here um, same with the flowers so I was looking online I knew which tattoo shop I wanted because I'd gone there before but I didn't know which artist so I looked to see like which one had that style boom I made a consultation appointment went in did the consultation said what I wanted he drew it up a couple different things like I don't like that I don't like that then I had to come back drew up another one finally I liked it then I made my appointment which was like three weeks later so you need to be patient don't be impulsive for something that's gonna last forever and ever your whole life make sure it's something that you really want so I didn't do that actually with my first tattoo I did um, of course it's a tramp stamp because I was in high school and I wanted to hide it but it is Farsi and it says music and I had one of my brothers um, draw it out you know in Farsi and um, so that one, I don't, I don't, you know, hate it. Like I do a lot of my other ones that I did not plan out very well. For instance, okay, I can't believe I'm gonna show this, but I'm going to. When I was 18, I wanted to get a Persian flag, an Iranian flag on me um, tattooed. And my brothers have one and that they got when they were probably, who knows, 19 or anyway. And instead of, consulting them, their artists, and being like, okay, can you draw this for me? Or which one should I use? Or how should I do this? Or going to a tattoo artist and being like, I want an Iranian flag. I want it to go right here on my hip, whatever. I just went and picked one out of a book. Or so I thought. Oh my gosh. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. The, uh, I guess it could be Irish, Mexican, Italian. There it is. Persian, not so much. The Persian flag is red, white, and green, but it goes this way, ladies and gents. I kid you not. When I showed this to my brothers, they laughed so hard, we, they almost wrecked the car. Now, don't mind the blank spots there. That is where I had a piercing. Also a stupid decision and very painful. So, be patient, okay? Find a good tattoo artist you like. Tell them your idea. Let them draw something up that's original to you. Don't pick from a book. Don't go to a shop that has books. And I don't mean books where it shows the artist's work. I mean the big, huge ones on the wall that's clip art. Literally, it's clip art from the internet. That's what it is. Make it meaningful. Tip number four, pay good money. Don't go somewhere that's like, oh, we charge 40 bucks a tattoo. I, I always make it Southern, don't I? Or, you know, hey, we charge uh, 30 bucks an hour. No, don't go to those places. Go to places that charge the normal amount, which is a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars an hour. Hundred being on the cheaper end. This is somewhere that's going to give you a good quality tattoo. They're not going to rush. It's going to be um, well done. It's not going to be heavy handed. It's going to be nice. Okay. Pay good money. Some of mine, I, again, cheap. Lastly, location, location, location. And I don't mean the tattoo shop again. I mean on your body. Okay, so uh, the one on my ankle, don't like it. I don't like when I'm, you know, wearing shorts and a t-shirt. I don't know, it's, it, to me, it doesn't look very good. It looks kind of trashy. Um, if you are gonna be, you really, 
nowadays, uh, unfortunately, you have to think about your career, right? So um, as a school librarian, uh, I know that I have to wear long sleeves to work. It's just what it is. Some places, not so much. Some cities, you know where you live. Um, a friend of mine said in California, her uh, one of her science teachers or something had full sleeves. Some places don't care. When I was in Georgia, oh my gosh, I couldn't even show the wrist one. Like I would have to wear a Band-Aid if that was gonna show. And if I wore a dress, I had to cover up the one on my ankle. Like they were that strict. In Colorado, not so much. Um, the one on my, my arm is, this one's fine. The floral one might even be okay if the bottom of it shows. The sleeve, they're a little bit iffier about. There is a teacher there that does have some on his arms. So again, if you know that you wanna be a lawyer, let's say, then, you know, maybe, and, and okay, you wanna be a lawyer and you, I don't know, you you are a chef. Okay, let's just, that doesn't make sense if you're gonna be a lawyer and a chef. Okay, let's say that you wanna be a lawyer and you grew up cooking with your family. A big thing is cooking. You don't wanna get a huge chef's knife on your neck. You know what I mean? Like, Or um, let's say you love insane clown posse. You don't wanna get clowns across your chest here or you don't wanna get, you know, juggalo. I think that's their thing like along your collarbone like you don't want to do something like that right so location 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 um, so those are my five tips for getting a tattoo or getting your first tattoo make it meaningful don't pick from a book one or a huge you know thing on the wall don't even go to a place that has that unless it's their own artist's original work be patient about your appointment your consultation all that pay good money and location on your body, super importante. And that is it, cheers.